Hello and welcome to Ease the Load, the programme which offers food for thought and how to make your life a little easier. Today we're going to be looking at time management and work-life balance. We begin our timetable with an exercise in PPA that gives teachers greater flexibility and enriches pupils' lives at the same time. Then it's over to a primary school in Greenwich where an earlier start to the school day really does mean time for staff to lead a fuller life. And to round things off, we meet the Wintringham Wobblies to find out how they've taken the weight out of their workload. Planning is a massive part of the job for any teacher, but there never seem to be enough hours in the day to plan for everything. A PPA initiative at Langley Junior School in Plymouth means that time is definitely on the teacher's side. It's Wednesday afternoon at Langley Junior School in Plymouth, but the teachers are not at their desks. It can only mean one thing, enrichment time. It's all part of a DFES-funded initiative put in place to help teachers work-life balance. The enrichment project came about because we were a pathfinder school about two, two and a half years ago. Well, we did a number of things. We ensured every teacher had a laptop. Uh, we put a teaching assistant into every classroom, thanks to the funding. And we changed our school day which meant that um, a Wednesday afternoon was freed from normal curriculum time. So teachers could get, get together and do their planning and the children receive a, a whole range of activities that uh, we couldn't deliver in normal curriculum time. I think it's had a huge beneficial effect for the children because they still get all their teaching, um, all the teaching time and all the subjects that we cover. But it gives them a complete range of other activities, gardening, snooker, football by, you know, trained people. I think it's fantastic for the children. Every half term, the children choose their own activities and these can take place in school or off site. I think the children gain a lot because not only do they do this range of activities, it's a lot of fun, uh, it doesn't actually feel like academic work to them. And it's also a chance for other staff at the school to show off their hidden talents. Enrichment afternoon is an enjoyment for the children. I get enjoyment out of it. And they get to do activities, an arts and crafts or cooking or, or any other tip that they wouldn't get to do at home. I wouldn't spot going back to class lessons because I really like doing the activities in the afternoon because we get a chance to do and make different things. Other activities are provided by outside agencies. My name is John Hearn, I'm a snooker coach and also the chairman of the Plymouth Snooker Partnership. I've been involved here with Langley Junior School as a part of their citizenship um, and enrichment programme. I think from the school's perspective they realise that there are positive benefits from playing snooker for the children. You've got some simple arithmetic um, and um, improvements in concentration. Having Wednesday afternoons off um, to me is excellent. For the teachers, it's a much needed opportunity to get to grips with their PPA. The children have masses of opportunities for taking part in different activities, while the teachers have that time during the normal working day to be able to sit down together and to work on um, their planning, their preparation, their assessment. Certainly having some designated time within the school hours to plan has, has lessened the amount we take home. Um, certainly given us time to sort of to, to get together. It's quality time where we're not tired after school, um, where we can get together and plan the week ahead, evaluate how we've gone so far during the week. It's also made a big difference in that um, I have a home life, which means I go home of an evening and once I've done my work at school, I can actually enjoy television, going to the theatre, what have you. It may benefit everybody in the school, but implementing this has meant some teething problems. It does cost us money. It, it doesn't break even, so the, the school budget has to uh, support it. But it's certainly worthwhile in terms of what the children um, receive because they, the excitement and the, the range of things is far beyond that which we could do in the classroom normally. It's made a difference to the children and I think it's been a benefit to the teachers. One thing's for sure, Wednesday afternoons are a welcome break for both staff and pupils. For some teachers, finishing school early or getting home at a decent hour is just a dream. But for staff and pupils at Grinling Gibbons Primary School in Greenwich, this dream has become a reality, which means they have more time to stop and smell the flowers.
Welcome to Grinling Gibbons School in South London. Two years ago, they changed the school day to improve teachers' well-being and lifestyle. We start at 8.30 in the morning, which is really quite unusual, and uh, the academic day finishes at 2.30. We were really, really searching for something that we could do differently as a school, and the second reason was to do with teacher workload and teacher well-being. We wanted them to miss the rush hour and we felt that the easiest thing to have a look at what would happen if we started half an hour earlier. There was nothing really, really special about the process apart from filling in the innovation order form to the satisfaction of the DF DFES. Um, that we were still fulfilling the requirement of statutory education for the children. From a teacher's point of view, being in the classroom, I think having the day this way makes a massive difference to your life after school, really. There's still the same workload in school, in a sense, but you have more time to do it. It's a, when you're working for two hours after school, if your school finishes at half three, that's six o'clock before you leave school. For two hours for us, it's still five o'clock. You're home by six. You feel that you have more of an evening. It's not a shorter day, it's just a timing of the school day that's different, has really eased our workload in the evening, yeah. At home, that's for sure. The main benefit for teachers, I believe, is a feel-good factor, that you're actually finishing earlier um, having more of the day, more of the sunshine hours. Jonathan Wren has been teaching at the school for two years. I remember being at my first school um, and you know, quite often leaving at you know, six o'clock and you know, I'd come home and be really, just feel completely exhausted. I tended to find that I was doing loads and loads of work in the evening. Um, I was always kind of having to take a lot of stuff back, whereas um, now I tend to take less stuff home with me. I'm doing an, an MA, so that's been really helpful for me in kind of going to seminars and things like that. I think it's quite innovative and unusual um, solution, which hopefully other schools might, might well take on board. The change in school times has also impacted on the children's education. Because their longest part of the day, where they're in class and focused, is from 8.30 to 10.30. And any teacher, I think, realises that that is, in fact, the best time for children to work when they come in first thing in the morning. They're fresh, they're focused. There have been benefits across the whole school community. Before, we used to finish at 3.30 and we would have to still be here till about half past four doing planning or preparation for the next day or meeting with teachers. That was quite difficult, having young children of my own, because they also finished school at 3.30, which means I used to have to rush, have to pick them up or do other things. One of the negatives at points that we came across was, from the parents' point of view, is that what would they do if they couldn't pick their child up at 2.30? So that is why we decided to offer the after-school clubs. We have lots of sports activities and cooking club. We also do karate. We have about 17 clubs over the week that children attend. Also, we have a playground activity where they just come and play and socialise with their friends, which they wouldn't normally get a chance to do. It's impacted more on the teachers. So there's enough time to have a cup of tea with them at the end of the day and to recap about how the day's been. The biggest impact that I have seen is the total reduction of um, time taken off through illness, that really must say that the change of the school day must have impacted on the teacher's um, well-being. It's 2.30pm and school's out. Time to find out what the children really think of their adjusted school day. Some children go home or some children just meet outside and play. Yeah, it's good because we get to like watch all the programmes that are on around 3 o'clock and stuff. I like about um, half two finishing school because um, then we get to do more things than we actually do in the playground. And time for Jonathan to get on with some of the more relaxing things in life. If I went to another school, I think it would be quite difficult to adjust to the times because I've got quite used to the time that I get home at in the evening now. Leaving that little bit earlier, I think, is quite effective in you know, helping me to have a, a happier life, I suppose. As all teachers know, a hectic work life can eat into our spare time, so it's easy to see how we might neglect our health and eating habits. For members of a club at Winteringham School in Grimsby, one woman is literally taking the weight off their minds.
This is Cathy Mason, Health and Welfare Officer at Winteringham School in Grimsby. Cathy doesn't only look after the health of the children. She's also been running a healthy eating club for staff at the school. So what's the name of the clinic? The name of the clinic is Winteringham Wobblies. The staff actually picked that name themselves. They came to me and said we want to be called Winteringham Wobblies. To be honest, when I first heard the name, I just burst out laughing because I thought, we're all wobbly, we're wobbling around school anyway. What do they learn? They learn what is healthy eating when they come here. The club has been running for two years for people who may not be able to address weight issues due to their workload. One of the critical problems for us all, really, is that we, um, we get swept up on the tide of work and children um, and we don't leave sufficient time for ourselves to actually take the break, um, eat properly and exercise. And it can be a priority that gets pushed to the bottom of the list instead of being at the top. Teaching assistant Julie Common has benefited from the club. My daughter wanted to lose weight, I wanted to encourage her as well because she was a lot heavier than myself. So I started going there and getting weighed so that I knew I was advising her the correct way. The best thing about the whole club is that support from each other and from Cathy. Because if it weren't for Cathy, even as the advice that she has, I would never have lost my weight. Losing nearly two stone, you can definitely tell I'm not exhausted at the end of the day. The concentration's a lot better because I'm eating the right food. In fact, the only thing that has grown at the school is the Wobblies membership and its remit. People have approached the club across a wide range of issues. They tend to use the Winterham Wobblies, yes, for healthy eating, but they'll use it in the guise of perhaps getting some advice and support for other issues mm -hmm. which may be causing them difficulties. But we've had some staff who've had problems come in, have a scream and a moan and a cry and then been able to go back and teach, which I think is of benefit to them. For staff at Winteringham School, it's all about achieving a healthy weight. So it's not just for wobblies, it's also for the weights. I'm a lot healthier from going to the clinic. Um, I'm the proper weight that I should be, which is really nice. Um, I'm not so tired. I've learnt how to eat healthily and that a balanced diet may, makes you a healthier person as well. One of the best things about the clinic really being supportive within school because you work more than you're at home quite often. It's time, convenience, you can just pop in at break time, lunch time, even after school. It certainly is good for me as a head teacher to know that my staff have that support mechanism mm. readily available at hand. And obviously the, the health and wellbeing of staff is critically important to me as a head teacher and for the school. Undoubtedly it has increased my workload, but I think it's done for the right reasons. Mm. And that's generally to to make the staff have a service which they feel is benefit to them. Demand for the club has grown within the school, so for Cathy it's very much a case of carry on matron. Well that's it for this week. I hope we've given you some timely advice on how to improve your work-life balance. Tune in next time for more tips on how to ease the load. If you've got any load easing ideas to share then please contact us here at www.teachers.tv forward slash ease the load.